What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your boy, Biz. You like my backdrop? Good, yeah, it's fancy, huh? Don't get used to it. It's raining outside, so we had to come in here. Starting off, as always, with products. Russell Day is getting a new skate. A Adapt brand announced Russell's new pro model on their Instagram this week, and it looks so good. Say what you will about Adapt, but they make some beautiful looking skates. For the drop, they released Russell's Adapt video part for free. Must see and must cop. Razor Skates showed off their 2019 Razor Junior Genesis skate and it looks so good. If you have a little ripper and you want them to succeed in a blade game, buy them USDs. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Nah, but for real, they look amazing. Definitely a must grab. Okay, let's talk about events real quick. So a couple events happened this past week. Too cold to blade outside at Modern Skate Park went down. Luke Naylor was killing it. Dom Bambrick was keeping it OG. The shit was tight. Definitely wish I was there because I really want to skate that park. Charm City Takeover also happened in Baltimore, Maryland. East Coast, baby. And they were going off too. Big tricks. Matt Lyon did a Olive Soul step back, Olive Top Soul three out that melted my heartstrings. The homie Jay was gapping from wooden drop rails. The shit was crazy. Okay, upcoming events. March 9th, Australia. We going down under. The boys out there are putting together the Manly Blade Me at Manly Skate Park. It might be pronounced Manly, I'm calling it Manly because it's funnier. John Julio's gonna be there, Scotty Crawford's gonna be there, Dom West is gonna be there, probably filming the shit out of it. You know who else needs to be there? You, you need to be there. Get your ass over there. Okay, video time. Dom West released a trailer for Joe Atkinson's Blue Edit and it's probably gonna be the most fire edit of 2019. I'm calling it now. The shit looks like a featured film. When he flat spinned out of the bowl onto that rock, oh my God. I can't wait to watch this edit. I've legit watched the trailer like eight times. I'll give you whatever dollar amount you want, Dom. Them Skates put out a park edit from Eindhoven. It's in the Netherlands, they have Winter Clash there. It's a whole thing, get used to it. Listen, if you don't think John Julio is a GOAT, you're wrong as fuck. Look at this man, who does this? Kick the ledge to Top Mistral, kick the ledge to Macchio, and kick the ledge to Fish. If you think you can do that, and as good as he did it, send me your clips ASAP. I'll wait. Everyone killed it in this edit, but Danny Bear gets the damn homie, how'd you not die clip of the week for this one. Crazy. You are a crazy person. Since we're in Eindhoven, let's talk about Rich Breed and how he swagged out all over that bitch. High key, anyone that does Channel 11 grinds gets an extra point from me. I'm still trying to find my H block. Definitely a must watch. I'm salty as hell because he has those Brooklyn joggers and I want them so bad. Anybody that has a 2X out there, let your boy know. Lake Havasu is a beautiful little city in Arizona with a beautiful skate park, views like a Drake album, that once a year gets destroyed by rollerbladers. An edit surfaced this week of the Blade Havasu trip by Kyle Smith. Has skating from Chad Tenenhill, Anthony Armstrong, Oscar Sosa, and more. The skating looks super fun. You need to watch this edit and figure out how to get there next year. Let me talk to you about that boy Pablo Muniz. He put up some quick hits at 181 Skate Park for Ghetto Community. Fire. Bruh, is so smooth. Zero star, step over fish with the grab like an adult male. Give that boy his credit. Hawk Trackler dropped a video called Lace Up to Your Face Up. Whatever that means. It's 35 minutes of heat though. They use Coolio for the trailer so you know it's gonna go off. This video features Hawk, Bradley Wilson, Kyle Wood, Paul Stewart, Andrew Connors, and Matt Lyon. It's only $5, so make sure you cop that. The link is in the description below. Them Skates Japan put out my favorite edit this week. Daruma features the swaggiest Them Skaters. Yeah, I said it. Sorry, Alex, but you know it's true. Along with Channel 11 grinds, anyone that does negative top acids in the streets, extra bonus point. Also, trap music and rollerblading belong together. It's like peanut butter and jelly, or Target and white women. That video is super dope and you should definitely check it out. Okay, that's it for videos. Let's get social. You people need to give the homie Keith some credit for this one. Mistrial, True Machio, In Spin Backslide kept it going all the way around to fake you. How did you not die? And speaking of not dying, Luke Naylor cheated death with this one. Why is everyone so good at set sliding all of a sudden? I can't figure that shit out for the life of me. Sasha Lopez out of Argentina. Where the hell did you learn to chew fish like this? So much fire. Pyrotechnics everywhere. 
Blade Marie out of Germany grinded her first down rail this week, killing them with the front sides. Seeing anyone progressive blading legitimately makes me happy, especially the little shredders. This week, Matt Lyon, Hood Panda, gave us a new way to slide into your potential bays and DMs. The link to that is in the description below. I know you want to use it. It's a good one. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following BladerUnion.com for all your Blade news and updates. I'm gonna leave you guys with the highest, most difficult front torque I have ever seen.